Welcome to Math with Mr. Stocks. For this video, we're going to learn about subtracting integers with algebra blocks. While you're watching this video, you're going to need algebra block mat, bag of green algebra block cubes, and the algebra block mini basic mats paper. If you don't have those things, hit pause now and go get them. Okay, now that you have anything, we're going to go over a few things before we start. You have noticed in our previous videos we've used parentheses. Parentheses are used with a subtraction sign to help you know that you are subtracting a negative number. So this is what you're going to see. 4 minus and then they're going to put parentheses to show that it's negative 2. If they didn't do this, you would see something like this. 4 minus negative 2, but you're not really sure because it kind of looks like a minus minus, so it's kind of confusing. So this right here, 4 minus parenthesis negative 2 is what you're going to see. If you do write it by hand, you may do it with the parentheses, or you may do it this way. This is normally the way I write it. So I have the 4, I have the minus sign like usual, and then my negative sign, I just raise a little bit and make it smaller than my subtraction sign to show that it's a negative 2. So this top version here is one way we can do it, or you can do it this way. It's your preference, but whenever you do a textbook or something on the internet or um, on the paper that's a worksheet or something, you will see it like this. All right, let's start with our first example here. 5 minus negative 3. So I'm going to talk about, you know, back when we first learned subtraction in elementary, we called it takeaway, and that's exactly what we do here. We start out with negative 5. And we're going to take away negative, take away three negatives. So I remove them out or delete them. So my five minus my negative three is going to leave me with negative two because that's how many blocks I have left. Our second example is negative five minus two. So I started out with negative 5, but when I go to subtract or take away 2, there's not 2 here. So what we need to do is we need to make it so there are 2 here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the 0 pairs that we talked about in um, the present PowerPoint presentation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a negative and a positive. Okay, This still represents negative 5. But now there's something in the positive side. Well, there's only one, and I need to take away two. So I'm going to add another zero pair. So now I have another zero pair. So now I still, if I look at this as a whole, I still have negative five. But now it asks me to take away two positive. Well, I have two positive right here. So those two positive now. So now I have five minus 2 and I can use that and that will leave me with an answer of negative 7. So 5 minus negative 2 equals negative 7. Now so what we have here is we have the steps that we can use to solve the subtraction of algebra blocks. First we place the algebra blocks for the menu end, the first number on the map. So we started we had negative 5 down here. Step two, add zero pairs needed to be able to remove the subtrahend or the second number. So I needed to take away minus, I needed to take away two, but since I didn't have two, I added zero pairs until I had two positive to take away. Step three is remove the number of blocks in the subtrahend. So I took away the two, and then that, the remaining blocks are the answer. So that was seven. Let's look at a number, another example here. 4 minus 9. Again, so step 1, I've got my 4, my first number, my menu n. Step 2, I want to take away 9, but there's not 9 positive there. So I'm going to add a 0 pair. I always add 1 to the positive and 1 to the negative. So this whole mat still equals positive 4. Still positive 4. I 
getting closer, but I don't quite have nine up there. There we go. So now I have nine here, so I can take away all of them. And that leaves me with the answer of negative five. So four minus nine equals negative five. Example four is four minus negative seven. So this time I want to take away a negative amount. But again, there's not a negative. So we've got the first step one. We've got the menu end here. Now I need to add zero pairs until I have enough to remove for the subtrahend. There's two zero pairs, three zero pairs. So now I need to take away four zero pairs. I still don't have negative seven to take away. It's probably going to get a little crowded here. Six. And seven. So there's now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can take away my seven. And that leaves me with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So four minus negative seven equals eleven. Next we have example number five negative three minus negative six. So I start step one with my negative three on the mat. Now I don't have negative six to take away so I'm going to add zero pairs to create that. Okay, so now I added three zero pairs so now I'm able to take away negative six so that gives me the answer of positive three. So negative three minus negative six equals three. Here are four examples for you to do on your own. Hit pause on the video, use the algebra block mat to solve these problems. Then when you're done, hit play and I'll go through the answers and see how you did. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Okay, let's see how you did. So we start with 4 minus 8. So you got 4, you can't take away 8, so we need to add a bunch of zero pairs here. Okay, now that I've added enough zero pairs, I still have 4 up here, but I can take away 8. Take that 8 away, and I get negative 4. So 4 minus negative minus 8 equals negative 4. Next example is 4, negative 4, minus negative 1. Well, I've got negative 1 here, so I can just take that negative 1 away, and that's going to leave me with negative 3. So 4 minus negative 1 equals negative 3. Next I have 3 here, and I'm going to take away a negative 5. Oh, well, there's not a negative 5 to take away, so I'm going to add 0 pairs. Now I've added enough 0 pairs until I have negative 5 for there, so I'm going to subtract or take away negative 5, and that leaves me with an answer of 8. So 3 minus negative 5 equals 8. Okay, next we have negative 2 minus negative 8. Again, I don't have the negative 8 to take away, so I need to add 0 pairs. Okay, now that I have enough 0 pairs to let me have my 8 down here, I can take away my 8, and that's going to leave me with positive 6. So negative 2 minus negative 8 equals 6. So I use these steps to solve these problems, and then that's how we can do it with the algebra blocks. If you have any questions, feel free to ask 
or do the extra problems.